JK English Channel. Hello, welcome back, and I'm your teacher today, Mr. Mark. We are looking at Year Three, Lesson Thirty Seven of the Get Smart Plus Three textbook. So today we are learning to describe an eco-friendly house. 我们今天呢要看三年级第三十七课喽。今天要学的东西呢是怎样去正确的形容一个环保屋子，或者叫做生态屋。So let's look at what we are going to do. Number one, we are learning to discuss five or more features of eco-friendly houses. 我们要决定讨论呢五个或者以上的这些环保屋的特征。Number two, draw and design and also label eco-friendly house. 我们要画出来设计一间我们自己的生态屋子，然后呢再跟它标记上各种不同的地方。Number three, plan and write at least four sentences about the house. 我们要写出呢最少四个正确的句子来形容这个房子。So are you ready? Let's start. Okay, so today part one we need to discuss. 我们要讨论呢 five or more features. Feature 就是特征。我们要讨论五个或以上的特征，关于一间环保屋。Eco-friendly house. So let's take this picture for example. 我们来看一下这间屋子，当做一个例子。我们来学一下到底这些是什么来的。哎，你知道吗 ？What is A? What is B? What is C, D, E, and F? 如果你知道的话，我们来学一下英文到底是什么、哦。Let's look at A. Tank. Do you know what is a tank? 你知道这是什么吗 ？Tank 叫做水箱。We put the tank behind the house. So why do we put the tank behind the house? 为什么我们把这个水箱呢放在屋子后面呢？而且是放在外面的地方 ？Because we want to collect rainwater. So this is a rainwater tank. 这是一个雨水箱子。比如说呢，下雨的时候呢，哎，这些雨水就会淋在屋顶上。And then the roof will collect the water through the drainage pipe into our rainwater tank, and we use it for toilet, for washing, and also for our shower. And we also water our plants with the rainwater. See, it's very useful. We can save a lot of water. So let's look at B. Do you know what is B? It's called a turbine. You can see it. Do you know what is B? It's called a turbine. You can follow me and say turbine. What is a turbine? This turbine is what? This is called a turbine. Okay, turbine. Wind turbine. 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 Wow, there are three types of wind turbines in the world. 有三种呢，主要的风力发动机。这些发电机呢，在风吹的时候，它会旋转，然后制造一些电力。你的家里呢，就可以靠风的电力呢，来省电了。Let's look at it. C. We call it a panel. Panel 叫做平板或者叫面板。So these panels are on the roof. We call them photovoltaic panel. 太阳能电子板。太阳能电板。So when the sun is shining, the sun will shine on the photovoltaic panel. 这个太阳呢会照亮在这个太阳能电板上 ，and they will give us electric power. 它会给我们的电力。So your house can save more energy. 我们可以省更多的电力呢。Let's look at D. Oh, D. 这个很简单，我们都懂。Roofs. 这个叫屋顶。Everybody say roofs. 因为呢，一间屋子有很多个屋顶，所以 roof 要加 s 哦。所以这些屋子有什么特别 ？They are insulated roofs. What is insulated? Insulated 叫做隔热 ，OK， 隔热的一个屋顶。怎么说隔热呢 ？You see, so during summer, you see， 如果是传统的屋子的话呢，哇，那个太阳直接进去，然后整间屋子都很热。If we have insulated roofs， 我们的屋顶呢是有隔热的话。太阳的那个热量呢就被反弹 ，the roof will reflect back the power of the sun. So you see the the house will be cooler during summer. During winter, 在冬天的时候呢 ，in winter, if we do not have insulated roofs, 如果我们家里呢没有这样子的安装这种隔热的天花板或者是屋顶的话，然后 all the heat in the house will escape. 这些热量就会离开我们的屋子，就会很冷。But with the insulated roof, 如果我们有这样子的一个隔热的屋顶。哎，这些热量就可以在屋子里面循环，可以保暖。So this is the use of insulated roofs. 所以呢，这些 insulated roofs， 这些隔热的屋顶，可以帮助我们省很多的电。我们在大热天不需要开冷气空调，也不需要在冬天的时候呢开暖气，就可以节省很多能源喽。Let's look at E. What is that? That's a window， 对不对？这是一个窗口，而且有很多面窗口。We call them windows. 
Windows. OK， 这个窗户有什么特别呢 ？Shaded windows， 这些是多层的玻璃窗户。Let's look at this. The normal windows in our house they are just single layer, right? But for shaded windows, there are many layers. 这样子呢，这种多层的窗口是有很多层的，所以呢，平时呢，它可以减少我们太阳的热量。太阳热量呢，光线还是照得进来，但是呢，热量会被弹出去，所以呢，房间是保持温暖的。在 summer 的时候 ，How about in a cold winter night? Yes. 光线呢还是可以照进来，但是家里呢这些热量、温暖的空气呢就不会直接哎散发出去，所以我们可以保持房间里面 warm， so it's warm inside the room， OK？ So let's look at the last one F， we call them heater， uh huh， if you are very cold。In a very cold night, you want to have a shower. 在一个很寒冷的晚上，或者是一个很寒冷的天气，你想要洗澡，哎，怎么办？我们需要 heater. What is heat? Heat 是热量的意思。Heater 叫做加热器。So 这些东西装在我们的屋顶上有什么用处呢 ？We call them solar heater. What is solar? Solar 是太阳能的意思。So solar heater is 太阳能加热器。How does it work? Okay, when the sun shines on the solar panel, it's something like a photovoltaic panel. 但是这些呢是转化成电能，而这些呢是直接转化成热能。It will heat up the water in our bathtub, in our shower, so we can have a warm water shower. So 除了我们洗澡之外呢，我们也可以用这些太阳能的加热器来加热我们的热水壶啊之类的东西，就不用去花那个能源煤气啊，或者是电能去煮热我们的水，或者是加热我们要冲凉的水。Okay. Wow. So we have looked at six features of eco-friendly house. 我们已经看过呢，这样子一间生态屋六个特征。Why are there eco-friendly houses? 为什么世界上需要这样子的一个生态屋或者环保屋呢 ？Number one, we can save water. 可以省很多水，对不对 ？Because we have the rainwater tank, we can save water. We can save energy. We use the energy from the sun, from the wind. Okay, so we can save energy. We can save energy. Number three, we can have a better health. We can be more healthy. How do we say it? We can use the wind, we can use the sun, we can use the water to make our lives more healthy. We don't need to waste a lot of energy or use a lot of electricity. It's very natural. We can save the Earth. We can save the Earth from pollution and save waste. And also, we can save our much lower bills. Our electricity bill can be reduced drastically. Now we need to draw, design, and label. Draw is 画出来 design 是设计 and label 我要标记出 eco-friendly house 一间环保屋 like this. You can draw your own house, your very special eco-friendly house, and then you need to tell me what is this, what is this, what are these, what are these. 你要正确的画出来 so you can find. A blank drawing block. You can draw it in a blank drawing block. Or you can find a small A4 paper to draw on it. You can draw it in a normal A4 drawing block. Let's look at some examples. We'll look at some examples. Aha! You can draw like this. You can draw a cutscene of a house. 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 Or you can draw something like this. It's a very cute house with photovoltaic panels. There are rainwater tanks outside, serving the water to our toilet. There's a living room on the second floor, and there's a bathroom on the top floor. See, there's a shower, there's a toilet, there's a kitchen. So it's a house that you learn in Unit Five. 你可以在这一课呢学到这些东西，把它全部都发挥出来，有什么房间都可以画出来。然后你可以大概标记一下这是什么 ，What are these? OK? Or you can draw like this. You can use your computer to draw it, or you can use your hand. 也可以用手画，或者是用电脑画都可以，自己设计自己喜欢的。Or you can draw like this, a very simple hand-drawn house. You see, he talks about the roof, he talks about the walls, the water. And the windows also, you see, it's very special here. Don't waste your dry bread. 你的面包呢，如果吃不完的话 ，give it to the birds. 哎，你可以节省你的食物，这也是一种环保的方式哦。So you can also draw something like this: a very special compound house with the wind turbines and there's a. This is called a dam. Okay, 这个叫水坝 
and there are also photovoltaic panels. There are also solar heater, and there are trees behind the house. 嗯，你可以学用我们的之前学过的 prepositions. You can draw something simple like this. There's a sun. There's a photovoltaic panel. There's a wind turbine, and there's a green electric car. 我们有电动的车，所以呢也可以节省我们的能源，对不对 ？And there's a tree. You can grow apples, or you can grow some fruit, mangoes, or durians on the tree. So you can recycle the things that you don't want. 你可以呢再循环这些垃圾，把它当做更环保的使用。So let's talk about how to label the eco-friendly house. 就我们要学一下，到底你在画出来了之后呢，你要怎样去标记上去 ？So for example, we can draw lines like this and say they are wind turbines. 这些呢是我们的风力发动机。It is a tree. It's a tree. They are photovoltaic panels. It's a recycled bin. These are shaded windows. It's a pond. 还有一个池塘哦。所以你可以这样简单的标记也可以，或者你可以倒回去看看一下刚刚的影片里面呢，有给你一些例子哦。Now we need to look at how we are going to write sentences about the house. 我们在画了、设计了、上了颜色，然后再标记好我们的各个部分之后呢，我们就要来造句喽。So now we need to think what we want to say. And first, we need to write it down. 我们需要呢把我们要说的话先写出来。So now let's look at how we can write the sentence. 我们来看看一下怎么样去造这些句子。This is a solar panel. 哎，你可以画出那个太阳能平板，然后呢说这是一个太阳能面板。It's on the roof. 它在屋顶上。This is the living room. 哦，这是客厅。It has an energy-saving TV. 它有一个节能的电视机。There's a toilet in the bathroom. 有一个马桶在浴室里。It can save water. 哦，这个马桶可以省水。There's a rainwater tank. 还有一个呢，雨水收集箱。It's behind the house. 在屋子的后面。There are some vegetables in the tank. 哦，这个雨水收集箱里面还可以种菜呢。Oh, very good. So you can write something like this. Think about what you want to write. 你可以试试看，想一下你要写什么句子，最少四个哦。And after that, what do we do? Now you can look at these kids. How do they talk about their house? You see, they are doing in groups, right? They are in groups. So you can also find a friend or your family members to help you do your house together. This is a project. This is a project. So you need to make it correctly and clearly. Write it down. Then write it down. Then write it down. 我们可以在老师、同学或者是你的朋友们面前呢，分享你的这件特别的环保屋。And remember, we also have Google Classroom quiz. 我们呢也是在 Google Classroom 上面有一些小小的问答题，记得要上去我们的 Google Classroom， 然后看了这个影片，回答那些简单的问题。So I hope you have fun with your eco-friendly house, and remember to take care and enjoy English. Goodbye.